Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline this Tuesday the 26th of October. I'm Reverend Carol with the Kingsbury and Baxterley Group of Parishes. This evening we are celebrating King Alfred the Great and also uh, Sed, who was Abbot of Lastingham and Bishop of the East Saxons. So, uh, firstly, a little bit of information about Alfred the Great. He was King of the West Saxons and a scholar. Born in the year 849, Alfred was the King of the West Saxons, who effectively brought to an end the constant threat of Danish domination in the British Isles. He came to the throne at the age of 22 and, after establishing peace, set about bringing stability to both church and state. He gave half of his income to founding religious houses, which themselves acted as Christian centres for education, care for the sick and poor, and respite for travellers. He was a daily attender at Mass and himself translated many works into the vernacular. He evolved a legal code based on common sense and Christian mercy. His whole life was marked by the compassion of Christ. He died on this day in the year 899. <clears throat> and now some information about said. Said was born in Northumbria in the late 6th century and joined the monastery of Lindisfarne where he served for many years. When King Peter of the Middle Angles became a Christian, Said was sent with three other priests to preach the gospel in this new territory. Sometime later, King Sigbert of the East Saxons was converted and Said, now an experienced missionary, went with another priest to Essex. After traveling through the region, they reported back to Lindisfarne where Sed was consecrated bishop for the East Saxons. He returned to Essex to continue his work, building churches, two monasteries, and ordaining deacons and priests. While on a visit to Northumbria, he founded his, first mo his third monastery at Lastingham where he died of fever in 664 after attending the Synod of Whitby. So let us take a moment of quiet as in the usual way, I will share my screen. The words you see in bold are for you to join in with should you wish, otherwise just listen and enjoy. So there we have King Alfred the Great, top right hand corner, and said, Abbot of Lastingham, below. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Can we take another moment of quiet to reflect on the past day, the past week, and bring all those concerns on our hearts to God? We say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. 
Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And we listen to Vespera by Libera. Uh, another version of Before the Ending of the Day. And our psalm tonight is Psalm 21, verses 1 to 7. The king shall rejoice in your strength, O Lord. How greatly shall he rejoice in your salvation. You have given him his heart's desire 
and have not denied the request of his lips. For you come to meet him with blessings of goodness and set a crown of pure gold upon his head. He asked of you life and you gave it him, length of days forever and ever. His honour is great because of your salvation. Glory and majesty have you laid upon him. You have granted him everlasting felicity and will make him glad with joy in your presence. For the king puts his trust in the Lord. Because of the loving kindness of the Most High, he shall not be overthrown. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading for this evening comes from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 to the end. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ, our Saviour. Now we listen to Liberia's version of the Nunctimitus. <laughs>
Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ, our Saviour. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we pray to you that the rest of this day may be holy, peaceful and full of your presence. We pray to you that the work we have done and the work we have yet to do and the people we have met and the conversations we have had today may bring us closer to you. We pray to you that we may hear and respond to your call to peace and justice, praying for our world in all its frailty and for all who live here especially for all those suffering in any way. We pray to you for all those living or working in Harleton Grange and Hazelcroft in Kingsbury, Bridge Street in Hurley, Brookfields Close in Wood End and 21 Oaks in Merivale with Bentley. We pray to you that you will sustain the faith and hope of those who are lonely, oppressed and anxious, those who are ill and in need of your healing touch, especially all those who have asked for our prayers at this time and all those who are known only to you, those who grieve the loss of a loved one and may those who have died, including Alison Southcombe, Nora Stevens, Jeff Lennon, Peter Lloyd, Charles Cormack, George Blue and Patricia Wood. May they rest forever in your loving arms. We pray to you that you will strengthen us in your service and fill our hearts with longing for your kingdom. In faith we pray through your only son, Jesus Christ and in the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Collect for Alfred. God, our Maker and Redeemer, we pray you of, we pray you of your great mercy and by the power of your Holy Cross to guide us by your will and to shield us from our foes that after the example of your servant, Alfred, we may inwardly love you above all things. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and to make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for this Tuesday evening. 
I wish you all a peaceful, quiet and safe night and look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime, take care. God bless.